Grab project, gravity assisted pulse motor, two stage oscillator configuration. Uh, we've added the second coil. We went back to the larger gauge wire. I think it's 12 or 13 AWG. And uh, total resistance when uh, in series is, uh, I don't know, about 1.6, 1.7 ohms. So we boosted the, uh, the current through the system by about a one and a half amps. So total current when the uh, MOSFET triggers will be uh, seven and a half amps at 12 volts. I think that's around 90 watts uh, per pulse. Uh, so, and then uh, we uh, decreased the uh, the air gap between the uh, the magnets, and it has a uh, you know quite the dramatic effect. Uh, finished up the uh, shorter pendulums for the uh, you know overbalanced wheel, and uh, I have to fabricate uh, a new uh, uh, a new cam wheel. But uh, this is just to document uh, you know changes and uh, the new specs. Yeah, but you can see even that little bit of vibration is affecting uh, affecting the other end. Uh, so, you know, we get this pulsing around with a couple of pounds on it, or, you know, revolving with a couple of pounds on it, or even one pound. Uh, let's see if I can get this all in one shot here. I try to keep this video short. So, give it a spin. And you can see, you know, it has effect on the other end. So this is, uh, you know, very, very lightweight. And if it's revolving at a high enough RPM, it'll produce uh, sufficient force to, uh, you know, oscillate the other end. Of course, this is under manual operation. But uh, yeah, we can always remove the weight, you know, a weight from the other end as well if it's not enough. Uh, so we'll... Uh, be interesting to see how it performs. Should have uh, something finished tomorrow. Uh, regarding the uh, the MOSFETs, I was looking at the wrong parameters and I ordered the wrong MOSFETs. Uh, apparently, you have to consider uh, total power dissipation, not just maximum voltage and uh, the uh, max ID current. Uh, so I made a mistake there. Ordered new FETs uh, from a uh, a U.S. supplier and uh, they should be here in a few days. Uh, the uh, delay on time uh, 555 uh, circuit components started to arrive and uh, the last thing we're waiting for is uh, the Hall effect sensor uh, that's what it's called I was calling it a magnetic proxim proximity switch yeah but the Hall effect sensor will uh, will have uh, you know uh, should have a uh, easier way to adjust the uh, the on time uh, and we won't have uh, it'll be a quiet system at that point so which will be nice and uh, so we'll report uh, results when available enjoy the day cheers